Well, according to a newly published research paper led by University of Wyoming scientists, when wild horse populations are allowed to grow beyond numbers set by the Bureau of Land Management, sage grouse numbers do in fact suffer. After 15 years of study involving more than 1,000 sage grouse in central Wyoming, the researchers have concluded that managing free roaming horses at or below the BLM's maximum appropriate management levels within herd management areas would be highly beneficial to overall sage grouse populations here in the West. Now, the research results come as the Biden administration looks at revamping sage grouse management on federal lands here in the West, which could, of course, impact ranchers who utilize these millions of acres for livestock grazing. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day. Before beef is what's for dinner, it starts out here, which should come as no surprise. What might surprise you, though, is how cattle are treated out here. Thanks, in large part, to Beef Quality Assurance, a voluntary program that focuses on the right way to raise cattle. And more farmers and ranchers than ever have chosen to be BQA certified. Because for them, the right way is the only way. Beef, it's what's for dinner.